What's up, everybody? Mike here, back with another Elder Ring build guide video. And I bring you today my Roy Mustang build from Full Metal Alchemist. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to make him exactly look like Roy Mustang. I'm limited because this is PS5 version of the game. It's not like I'm a PC with mods where I can mess around with that stuff. So I did what I could, best of my ability. Hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get into the build. All right, starting with the levels and stats here obviously this is going to be a level 150 build that's what i always do for my builds if you've not been you know watch my videos uh so i got vigor at 50 mind at 40 endurance at 23 uh strength i left on a base whatever it is this is a uh samurai starting class so that's why the strength is where it's at same with dexterity left alone intelligence left alone faith is at 50 arcane at 30. all right now let's get into the incantations What I decided to go with is flame, grant me strength, raise physical and fire affinity attack power. So even though I'm not going to be using any actual like weapons or physical weapons, but it's going to be just many the caster only. This is just a fun build I decided to make, you know, for PVE. Uh, it, it probably can work well or decent in PVP, but my builds are mainly PVE focused. Or if you want to use them to help with friends and co-op, basically. So, yeah, this is really helping a lot. I decided to also put Golden Val on here, like I said, because if you want to play with some friends, you know, this is really good to increase the attack and defense for you and your allies. So that'll help out a lot too. The main uh, damage incantation I'm going to use is Giant's Flame, Take Thee. Pearl's Massive Ball of Rage and Fire is freaking amazing. Uh, I put this on your Catch Flame just for close range situations, basically, if you still can need to take an enemy or counter enemy real quick. Uh, flame Fall Upon Them is a good one to take out a group of enemies from afar. And then Burn of Flame is very good if you guys have enemies surrounding you. Take up multiple enemies real quick. Well, probably not so real quick, but it takes some time to start up. But it's very cool and effective to do. And then you don't necessarily have to have these last two. I just use in here for extra fun to do. Whirl of Flame and Surge of Flame. Just extra fun to have. You can, you know, switch out for something else you want. Flame, re flame related as far as, you know, Fire's Deadly Sin, I think it's are decent. Uh, what else? You want O Flame, that's fine. But not much else than that. I wouldn't use Flame Sling because that's just a much weaker version of the giant. The giant's flame. So giant Sling is gonna be way better. So yeah. Now, let's get into what I'm wearing in as far as equipment goes. Uh, I have the Dragon Communion Seal maxed out with scales of faith and arcane. So it's very good and helps with a flame build. And I also put in the second hand a giant seal maxed out with science flame incantation. So you have the giant's flame. It's going to help boost that as well, make it stronger. Uh, like I said, this is a Roy Mustang build. He doesn't use any weapons. So with both of these uh, community seals, just to help with the theme, essentially. Now, nothing on the headpiece because he doesn't really usually wear a headpiece. I went with Preceptor's long gown as the closest thing to sort of what he wears in the anime. And then for hands, I went Astrologer gloves. He usually wears white gloves and preceptor's trousers uh, for a look. So if you want to do that, go ahead. If you want to find something else to rock with and use, be my guest. As far as talismans go, we're using Flox Canvas Talisman, Great Raise, Explosive Incantations. It's going to make you even stronger. Fire Scorpion Charm, raises Fire Attacks, blows your damage negation. But like I said, this is going to be, you know, a, a mage range type of caster build. And you're going to do a lot of damage from afar. And you can dodge very fairly easily. Also, Godfrey Icon enhances car spells and skills. It's gonna be very good when you charge your abilities, making them even stronger. And then, lastly, to help raise your max HP, stamina, equipment load, or trees favor plus two. Uh, you know, may not necessarily need equipment load part, but HP and stamina is a nice little boost. And then, up to you if you want to do this. But I mess around with the Flask Orders Physic and add in uh, Cerulean Hidden Tear, which eliminates all FP consumption for about 15 seconds. And then flame shrouding crack here to reboost fire attacks as well. So that's going to be even even more better and for, better for you to do even more damage. And you want to allocate your flask however you want to. I decided to go with six for magic, eight for health, just in case. All right, let's go over here and show this in action against these giants. This is new game plus. So if you are trying to make this build a new game, it's going to be a little bit different as far as damage. But not going to be too far off. 
Now, I first want to show you what he does without any buffs, right? How much damage? Charged up. That's just giant flame, right? 17. That was about 1700 or so, right? This is using. This is about 14, 19. A little bit less damage than the Dragon Queen Seal, right? Now, let's buff him up. Try to get me. They try to get me. Somebody else only 14. Oh, he brought a friend. Two thousand. Two thousand. Think about that. With the buff on, right? That's not even with Golden Bow on you. That's not even with my flask either. Back off. Hold on. I just gotta chill. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys some cool stuff. All right, go up here. Okay. Oh, he followed me. I guess I'm about to kill him. Hold on. I'm just about to kill him. Anyway, anyway, I can always showcase this on the other two. Now, let's go ahead and just get fully buffed out and see how the damage is, right? Realize uh, gold valve probably gonna nullify the other buff, but wow, 3,000 forward. Insane, right? In freaking insane. Double check this. Come on. Twenty-eight, thirty-eight, two thousand. How did he not die from that? I do not know. He should have died. There we go. <laughs> but there you have it. There you have it. As you can see, very powerful build here against these giants. And of course, normal enemies, you'll be able to one shot them just fine. Like I said, Power Mancer build has gotten a little bit better. This is my Roy Mustang build. And I made how I wanted to. If you want to switch your things around a bit, experiment, go right ahead. You don't have to do exactly what I did, but I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please drop a like, comment below your thoughts, and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to hit that bell as well for more videos in the future. Check out. My name is Mike, and I'll see you next time.